damn, I love San Antonio Spurs basketball. Every year, every year when I see it, I'm just like, this team is just fun to watch. Uh, let's just get into it. I want to talk about Patty Mills going for 21. How awesome was that? Patty Mills is a guy who I think is underrated across the league. And before we start today's video, let me hear down below. Will the Spurs make the playoffs this year? Will they have multiple All-Stars? I want to hear it down below, and let's hop into this video. Like and subscribe for more NBA content like this on the daily. Look, 114-19, to upsetting Toronto. And Toronto hasn't really looked great this year. and But I still think it's impressive that they beat Toronto. Because Toronto is, by all my means, a playoff team. And I really, really love that. And they also beat the Grizzlies, which Grizzlies were another playoff team. So back-to-back -back games against teams who were playoff teams this past year they beat and i think that's a telltale sign of this is something to look forward to lamar chris aldridge he's taking a back seat and this is the second game that i believe that he he has been taking a back seat i think that's the role within the organization that he's embracing okay he's older he's up there in age yeah i know technically he's out averaging 20 points but i really think they really want demar to be handling the rock and you're seeing DeMar as a secondary hand, ball handler. Last year, he had a career high in assists. I think he's going to have a second year career high in assists. Without a doubt, I think that's something people should look out for. Because we saw DeJounte Murray last year. Like, he's doing really well. He had a triple-double. Like, that's the next guy I want to talk about. But let me finish with DeMar DeRozan. Three from four. Three for four from three. DeMar DeRozan is filling up the statue. Everyone's like, DeMar is underappreciated, underutilized. This is with the mainstream media who don't pay attention to San Antonio. Because, look, I've been making content on NBA for a while now. And I've always had San Antonio for Spurs fans since DeMar go went, got traded there to say, people sleep on DeMar. People say DeMar isn't as good as he actually is. And, you know, going into this, in this offseason, a lot of people were saying, like, DeMar's actually really good. Yeah, because you guys are like now looking through the stats and looking through game footage before this year and started to realize, damn, nobody hyped up DeMar the season that he had last year. And I think he's going to be a repeat. I think, again, he's going to average 25 points at least. Plus, he'll have like, I think he's, he could average seven to eight assists this year. And he's just so much fun to watch. I'm jealous. I'm really big jealous of the San Antonio Spurs because they always make it work. So let's talk about DeJounte Murray. I want to say something, guys. Don't hit me. Don't hate me, Spurs fans. I don't think DeJounte Murray is going to be a 20 point scorer. He could prove me wrong. But I think he's going to be a 15 or 16 point scorer. I think he could be a really good third fiddle. But I do think he's going to be a really good player. I'm not saying he's not going to be a good player. He's going to be a great player. I just don't think he's going to be a 20 point scorer. I think that's that's fair. We we live in a time that. If, if you're not a 20-point scorer and you can do get 10 assists and 10 rebounds in a game like DeJounte Murray just did, and I know he didn't po post a positive rating because, honestly, on defense, he wasn't spectacular, but he did do some good jobs, but then there was some, some iffy stuff. But still, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and 11 points. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I, I saw the game, and was there some defensive laps? Yeah. Was there some things DeJounte needs to fix? Yeah. But if DeJounte Murray's your third fiddle, fourth fiddle, not a bad guy to have. Not a bad point guard if your shooting guard, small forward, and power forward are better. If you have three better players, or two to th two to three better players who are 20-point scorers, like two 20-point scorers, and you have DeJounte Murray as that third guy, I'm not complaining at all. Let me pop in my aligners. I, like, have smiled in the right club, so I just had to pop them in because I, like, just ate and I felt comfortable. Either way, Lonnie Walker. I love Lonnie Walker. He's shooting enough threes. Eight threes a game. Love it. I need you to hit up. You, you need to hit more. I need you to hit at least three. I know you hit two. But if you're going to shoot eight threes, we need you to hit three at least. And I was piping up Lonnie Walker as the guy that I thought was going to break out this year for the San Antonio Spurs. And I still, I still think he has a chance to break out. I feel, still think he can be a valuable player for this organization. And... I think it just comes down to if he can get good shots. I think he has better sport scoring potential than DeJounte Murray any day of the week. I don't I don't think DeJounte Murray is going to be an elite scorer. I think Lawrence Walker has the tools to be an elite scorer. If you guys saw him at the U, Miami, it was lethal. 
he would score all over the floor. And, you know, we have yet to, we've seen flashes, but we have yet to really see Lonnie Walker do that consistently in the NBA level. And I think that's just something that we really hope to see. But the man Patty Mills is the guy I want to talk about next. Patty Mills. I mean, let's just talk about Devin Vassell real quick. Great transition scorer. Great transition defender. Great defender already. He's probably top 15, top 20 defender in the league already. That's my opinion. He's not as good as Isaac Okoro. Ooh, I'm about to make a video on that. Isaac Okoro blows my mind. But Patty Mills, 8 for 9 from the floor, 5 for 6 from 3. That's insane. He didn't even have any fouls. 21 points straight off the floor. That man is a baller. And you can't even deny that. He's just such a good player and he's so fun to watch. Patty Mills, one of the most underrated players. And honestly, I could really see DeJounte Murray. I don't think Pop is going to do it, but I really see Patty Mills being, could force DeJounte Murray, if he keeps playing like this, to the back, uh, to the six-man role. Because right now it looks like Rudy Gay and Patty Mills are splitting like the six-man role. You could say either they're the sixth and seventh mans off the bench. So that one's interesting. But Keldon Johnson, I almost said, I'd say that. Is it Keldon or Keldon? It could be either. But Johnson... He's a undersized power forward. I don't know if you hear my dog upstairs. She's going crazy. But Calvin Johnson is a undersized power forward. It seems like they run him with. I mean, you could say DeRozan is their power forward, but really Johnson's been playing a power forward role. Nine rebounds, and he stretches the floor. It's great to watch him play, and it's. I love watching him play. He's a really fun guy to play. He has good instincts. He knows where to be at all the right times, and he's just a phenomenal basketball player to watch. I think he was a great pickup by the San Antonio Spurs and somebody that they should watch all the time. And I really like him without a doubt. I think there's somebody that everyone should keep an eye out. Keldon Johnson could become one of the best small ball fours in the league without a doubt. I think that's, that's a fair assumption, fair thing to say. But yeah, we'll make it to the end of the video. I make my videos always go to eight minutes. So if you made it to this far of the video, thank you for being part of the end of the video gang. You guys could hate me because I'm just like rambling now. And I get it. I get it. Some people don't like when people ramble. But this is the end of the video game, guys. Because if you make it this far and you're still watching, it's because you're helping me with ad revenue. And that's how what I'm trying. I haven't had a job since I went to college. I had a job since I was 14. Until I was basically 20 years old. And this is my first year of me not having a job. So I'm trying to make YouTube. I've made 150 bucks from YouTube so far. Let's keep it that way. So, guys, I hope you guys do have a great day, because I know I will. This is the video, guys. I hope you guys do have a great day, because I know I will. Until next, guys, peace out.